Low voltage products allow us to do is provide a Meyer sound quality solution into places where running AC to them isn't convenient, but they still want all the advantages of a remote monitoring system just to the quality of the Meyer sound product and the quality of sound. This uh, family of products allows now a wider range of Meyer sound products to apply. You know, customers have been coming to us for, okay, they love the MM4, the little speaker that we make with 4-inch driver, um, the fact that it's, you know, remote 48 powered. Now they want bigger loudspeakers that have the same one cable low voltage solution. So it's kind of driven us to look at being able to develop more product line that utilize a remote power supply with one cable, a belding composite cable or a composite cable that has the DC and the audio on it to be able to drive these and make it easier to install them. And self-powering is a huge advantage. We already know that in terms of uh, what it gives us sonically in terms of a loudspeaker's behavior. And now with low voltage, we have just you know a wider variety of options in terms of how to install the systems. Class 2 is basically a, a wiring that satisfies regional codes that you can use the wiring outside of conduit. Now we're putting in you know, a lower voltage like 48 volts or 18 volts into a Class 2 wire and that allows us to not be in conduit, which makes it easier to install sometimes. RMS is Meyer Sound's remote monitoring system and uh, it allows you to monitor the health of your system uh, down to each element. The power supply, the MPS488, that powers these speakers, that sends the 48 volts and the audio to them in the case of the MM4, for instance, is uh, RMS capable and we can see your UP4, your MM4, you can see the health of these products via RMS. This opens up a whole new world in terms of being able to put in higher quality systems that have higher intelligibility that are going to satisfy and meet higher intelligibility standards as we, you know, as we really start adopting good STI numbers and being able to qualify these systems. What I like to think about is, you know, when we have longer exposure to sound systems for a meeting room even, you know, we've tolerated these really bad 70 volt systems for a number of years now, and it's time to move on. We can now put in high quality systems um, that have good intelligibility, that have good peak power into rooms, and get a system that's much easier on your ear to listen to for a longer time by looking at these systems that now are easy to install with, you know, low voltage. Thank you.